Good morning and welcome to the prophetic word of the day. We are coming to you live from Morgantown, Mississippi. In the still truck. in the car, still in the truck. So we're hoping that you are having a good morning. We jumped on a little bit early so that way we can get this shared um, everywhere as well. As you are jumping on, do me a favor. Tell us hello, tell us good morning. Let us know that you are watching with us. Because we also have a long drive today. We do. We're to not gonna we're share going to share all of those details because we are doing well, some yeah, I know under, we're not sharing all the details. We're doing some under, underground church stuff. So yes, there go. so bless God. Um, but let me just tell you, last night while Chris is getting everything set up, um, I don't know, like this is bananas, really? See. Okay, okay, yeah, great. <laughs> Great. I was trying to say, <laughs> I Chris know. Wiley, love you, mother. <laughs> Tell us love hello you, as you were love jumping you, on. Um, I, I don't know why I called you mother, but I love you, brother. <laughs> I know why I can't jump on my page because I don't have my Wi-Fi turned on. Let me turn. Let me turn. So hopefully this thing ain't going to jump around and everything. Guys, oh my Lord Jesus, what an incredible time we had at um, Morgantown Church of God. Is that what it was? Morgantown yes. Church. Phenomenal. Pastor Corey. His wife, the whole team, are amazing. All the whole of the team, people there. the people. I mean, we we have found another body of Christ that is a home. My Lord Jesus, I've got so many men here that are just brothers now, and it is phenomenal. Well, and I've got a ton of pictures that we are going to be sharing later from the last three days. Yes. Um, what God has done has literally, I mean, we say it amazes us and blows our mind because we sometimes just can't even articulate and put into words what it is that God is doing. But if you've watched the last couple of days of the PWOD, you've heard a couple of the testimonies and stories. But every day we have gotten in testimonies. Mm. We have gotten in um, encouraging words of lives that have been changed, of lives that have been transformed. The men of God, the families, the young people. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The young people. We might have people. some on here this morning because we've got some that have been we've watching. we like 12-year-olds that are like, I want to jump Lord. on. Thank and they're so Jesus. hungry for the things of the Lord. So we have had an absolute blast. Again, as you're jumping on, tell us hello. Let us know that you are watching. Um, there is so much shadow banning that is taking place. Um, the more that you comment, like, share, tag, link this all over your platform. And especially today, I need you to share it and tag it like crazy because what I'm about to release is not going to be um, the the funnest thing to release, but something that the Lord has told me to release for the body of Christ. And um, a lot of people on these platforms don't like it. And so... Uh, we I'm, need your help to keep it help. active. You know, to yesterday... It it's interesting because yesterday we had so many people on, so many shares. And you know what Facebook told me? Facebook told me I had one view. One view. I know that ain't true. Just saying. Ton of shares, one view. The, uh, nu the numbers are uh, not accurate on here. So okay, y'all help us spread this word. So Davey, I think she talked to you yesterday about how a uh, platform is trying to start its own church and religion and all this mess. It's called um, Metaverse. That, that, that I wasn't going into it. But anywho, um, I, I, I have a mandate from the Lord to talk to the church. Um, I had somebody tell me one time, they said, you need to, please don't put your religion with politics. Well, um, I can see that in some areas, but I have got to tell the church what is right, what is wrong, what is real, what is not, what is life, what is sin. And if I don't do it, then nobody else will because we have people out there in the body or claiming to be believers that are walking in lies and being... Mm -hmm fed a bunch of lies and they are not living according to the word of God. So I'm going to give you Acts 3, 19, New Living Translation. Lord God, help us today by the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to get right into it. Acts 3, 19 says, repent of your sins and turn to God. Repent of your sins. Turn to God so that your sins may be wiped away. Sin is an immoral act. It is wickedness, it is unrighteousness, it is a crime, it is evil, evil doing. It is ungodly, unrighteousness, profane acts, and so forth. In this country, we have been given a First Amendment mm -hmm. right. It guarantees our freedom 
concerning religion. Now, those of you that know us know that I am not religious and I do not talk about religion. I talk about the relationship with Jesus Christ. But for the sake of understanding the amendment, it gives us the guarantee of freedoms concerning religion and expression, assembly, coming together. I'll hold this right here. Mm -hmm. Coming together and the right to petition. It forbids Congress from both promoting one religion over others. There should not be one religion over the other. Also restricting an individual's religious practices. Can't shut you down. Can't stop mm -hmm. you. It guarantees freedom of expression by prohibiting Congress from restricting the press or the rights of individuals to speak freely. Oh, y'all. It also guarantees the right of citizens to assemble peaceably in the petition of their government. Here we go. So there's many of you that are just now jumping on. We need you to like this, share this, comment, boost this to the top of the algorithm, and link it over all your platforms. Everyone needs to hear this today. My religious beliefs are that all men are created equal in the sight of God. Galatians 3.28 said, For there is no longer Jew nor Greek nor slave nor free nor male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Now we know, according to the word of God, this is talking about believers. So I am coming to you on a believer standpoint on how we should believe, how we should conduct ourselves, mm -hmm. and how we should act. That being said, critical race theory, Black Lives Matter, socialism, governmental tyrants that want to mandate restrictions on. on you and on your family is not just opposing my First Amendment right, but according to what I believe, it is sin. Yes. According to my beliefs, it is sin. Why do I not agree with the LGBTQ? 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10. Don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't fool yourselves, believers. Those who indulge in sexual sin. Now, that's not LGBTQ. That's anybody. That's adulterers and adulteresses and so forth. But do, it says, do not indulge yourself in sexual sin, worship of idols, committing adultery, male prostitution, practicing homosexuality, or thieves, greedy people, drunkards. So look, this goes into everything, abusive, cheating people. None of these will inherit the kingdom of God. Why can I not stand with this and say, oh, it's okay, da, 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 da. Let them be who they are. If that's the way they want to live their lives, if that's, Inclusion. If, if, if they want to be a non-binary, what, no, no, listen to me. It's sin. Amen. It's sin. Now, for all of you social media gurus out there, this is not hate speech. This is a warning and this is a belief. I'm not giving opinion. I'm giving what Scripture. I believe. Mm -hmm. Matthew 5, 43 through 48 says, You have heard that the law says, Love your neighbor, hate your enemy. But I say, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you, for in that way, you will be acting as true children of your Father in heaven. So look at here, people out there thinking, uh, well, you're, I'm going to get, let me read it all. You're in that you. way, you will be acting as a true children of the Father in heaven. For he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good, and he sends rain on the just and the unjust alike. If you love only those who love you, what reward is there for that? Even corrupt tax collectors do that much. If you are kind only to your friends, then how are you different from anyone else? Even pagans do that. But you are to be perfect even as your Father in Heaven is perfect. So, I do not agree with certain lifestyles. And I will always stand against sin. Romans 5, 8 says, But God has showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us, yet while we were still sinners. If Christ did this, and we are supposed to be walking in the image of Christ, and we are supposed to be emulating Christ Jesus, he loved you in your sin. Didn't say that he loved the sin. He will judge sin. Right. But he loves you in your sin to show you 
the right way, the better way, so you don't have to die in your sin, which means that we should be loving people like Jesus. But don't tell me that I'm spitting hate speech or that I'm a bigot because of my personal opinion. This is the opinion of those who don't agree or who agree with those lifestyles and they want to cast hate on everybody else. This is not my opinion. This is my beliefs and my values. This is our religious if, freedom. If Jesus said that in this way to pray for those who persecute me and love those who hate me and love, watch this, the sinner in the same way that Jesus did. Now, St. Augustine is the one that said, uh, love or love the sinner, hate the sin. This is, it's not a biblical terminology. We are to love those that Christ loves. Christ said, he wants all men to come to the fullness of the glory of God. He wants all of them to, but he knows that they're not. But we have to tell people, we serve a righteous judge that will judge the living and the dead according to their works, according to their faith. And those that are living in habitual sin will not inherit the kingdom of heaven, but they will spend eternity in a place called hell that is a place without Christ Jesus. I'm not getting political, but I'm fixing to stand on my Christian values. And you need to start standing on your Christian values. You need to tell your communities and your school boards and all of this stuff. You're yes. not going to teach my kids this mess. We're standing on our Christian values. You're not going to come into my home. I'm standing on my Christian values. You're not going to bring social. I'm standing on my Christian values. You're not going to shut me up. I'm standing on my Christian values as well as the First Amendment right that was given to me in this country to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is why this whole thing was even established. So I need to get, I want you to get your thinking right. And your thought process is right. If you can't love these communities, what'd you just say? Love BLM, love the LGBTQ, love the critical race theory people. You'll never change them. Have to show them Jesus. If you hate them, then what you speak is hate speech. I love you, but I do not agree with your standards. I don't agree with your philosophies. I don't agree with your theologies. I do not agree with the agenda that you are pushing on people. I don't agree that you're trying to t tell a 12 year old boy it's okay if he wants to be bisexual, homosexual, transgender, if he wants to go have his genitals removed to be what he feels like. I don't agree with you. God made him a boy to grow up to be a man to be a man of God. God made her a girl to grow up to be a woman of God. And I'm going to teach that. That's not hate speech. That's not bigotry. This is love. And until you figure that out and get that in your head, you're going to continue to allow people to shut you up because they're going to sit there and tell you that what you're doing is hate speech. You've got to get to the point where you love the hater so much that it does not affect you in the way that you act, the way that you communicate, or anything that you say or do. It is sin, and I don't agree with it. But I will love you till there is no breath in my life. As Paul said, I will love you so that you will come to the fullness of Christ Jesus. Amen. And if you don't listen, I'll move on to the next. But I, I refuse. I'm, I'm tired of this. I command in the mighty name of Jesus that these social media platforms that are taking my Christian beliefs and trying to shut me down and letting these other false religions speak their venom, put their junk out there. I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I command now. 
I command you let me, you let this thing free in Jesus' mighty name. Mm. Amen, amen. You know, we watched on the news Thank this you, morning um, a woman who is a teacher who went to the school board to pretty much give her resignation. And she said that she was not gonna stand with the politicism. She literally was given a statement that she had to sign that she would shut down. Now listen to this, it was in writing that she needed to shut down white female Christian voices. Because apparently they're scared of white Christian women. Not only that, we saw that there was a teacher in Atlanta, Georgia that segregated the black kids from the white kids because she said that this was a better way to teach because the white kids did not need to be with the black kids so that they would not feel as if they were being overlooked or what. Are you kidding me? Completely wrong. Are you kidding me? Do you even remember what Martin Luther King Jr. walked down the streets of Atlanta for? so that we wouldn't have this segregation, so that we would all come together as men and women of God. That, that, that. Lord, reward them for their works and turn this nation through us back to Jesus. Joseph Combs was sent home actually from the school board because of, it was called Christian hate speech because he just posted scripture on his Facebook page. Well, I'm not doing it no more. Where is religion? There's religious freedom. Christians stand. Body of Christ arise. Listen, listen to me. me. Me and the pastor were talking the other day. He said he went down to Bourbon Street to go down and, and just minister or wait actually he didn't go down to the ministry he went down there to just love on some people and he said i saw same thing. same thing but he said i saw people standing on the street corners with megaphones screaming at people telling them they were going to hell you're not going to win people to jesus like that it's not going to happen absolutely the we, only, we've never done that. The only way we're going to win people to Jesus is one-on-one -on -one discipleship, mm -hmm. loving them on a personal manner, showing them Christ Jesus. When you show them the real Jesus, folks. We had in services here in Morgantown people that had literally been addicted to meth. Mm -hmm. I think some were currently on meth whenever they were in the services. And we loved them to Jesus. And guess what? Jesus works every time. Amen. Jesus always wins. Amen. Jesus is always the answer. The gospel is always the solution. Amen. You know, we try to complicate things. And the gospel is still the answer. Always has been. Body of Christ, I love you. I love you. And it's time for us to be who we're called to be. Okay? We're not going to run out here on the street corner and scream and holler at folks. Please don't. Because you're going to ruin your witness. Don't do it. Don't ruin your witness. But what we're going to do is we're going to love people. And when confronted, we're going to stand on the word. I'm going to preach this till the day I die. As, as Rand Paul said, they can't put us all in prison. But if I go for preaching truth, you better be praying for me. All right? We, um, we just had a comment on here. Thank you, Gary Jones. He said an Indiana teacher was put on leave because they would not use the preferred pronouns for tran transgender students. We pray for the teachers Amen. of this nation Dear right God, now. Those in secular oh, schools, God. Father God, give them a boldness. Lord God, remove these Jesus. school board members that are blind and God put in God-fearing school Ooh, board members again yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Cover them with your blood. 
every every teacher, every school official, every leader Jesus. that has a voice into this generation. Do we declare now, the Lord. blood thank of you. Jesus over you. We thank you, Father, that each of these people have the mind of God. Yes. They will not entertain wild imaginations. They will flee every mere appearance of evil, and they will stand for truth, justice, and righteousness. Amen. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that there is an awakening coming to the body of Christ. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. And we also pray for, pray for all the first responders. Amen. There's There's so many that we have met even since we've been down here. A that, lot of them. That, that it is, it's getting tougher and tougher. And we just plead the blood of Jesus over you. We thank you for your service to our nation every day. Amen. Guys, we love you. Woo. Um, we're going to give you a possibility about jumping on tomorrow because of our travel. So we'll see what happens. Excuse me. But know this, we love you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for those of you. Um, you see, here we are, you know, back in the truck, back on the road. We thank you for supporting us, for, um, sowing seed into this ministry so that we can travel and get to where we need to go. Uh, we thank you for your prayers. We thank you so much Amen. for everything that you were doing. We pray for you daily. Uh, we pray for your uh, your families. We pray for your seed that you have sown. Amen. And we just declare right now, in Jesus' mighty name. Well, Tiffany, be healed in Jesus' name. She said, I have the nasty virus. Well, be healed in Jesus' name. And we just love you. And know that always. Share this, Amen. tag this word, get it out there. Let's see what God does. Amen? All right. Amen. We love you guys. All right. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Amen. Peace. Bye.